Oh my word, the game is here boys, the one that I've been hyping up all season long. Oh, Chelsea cut out though, and Thiago outside of the boot, 1-0 already. Madueke down to Sterling, it will shoot, good save again, and Rhys James goes and gets the equaliser, the club captain. Rhys James will play across, Madueke makes it 2. Good ball into Diaz, he will drill it across, and yep, Salah's there for the tap in, it is 2-2. Two -two. The game will end 2-2. Two -two. It obviously means that we don't take over them for now, Chelsea will still remain in second place. Oh. Forget the Premier League, forget that for now, because we have a more important game right in front of us. I say more important for bragging rights, it absolutely is. I want to beat these lot. It's like AC Milan. It's getting to that point now. These need beating. It's the same team once again. I know some of them are on full fitness, but these lads, these lads can play. And with the form they're in, they can do Barcelona. This is the top of the table, this. It's bragging rights all over. We can't be taken seriously if we lose four out of four against Barcelona. We've got to get them beaten today and show to everyone that we've changed. We're different. We're better now. Ball gets played into Ben Chilwell now. Jules Kunde is not marking. Ben Chilwell will play for to Garcia and we'll drop it back to Ben Cuckoo. 1-0 Chelsea, just eight minutes in. What an electric start for the boys as they lead against Barcelona. And I told him he needed to have a big game. He's turned up just nine minutes in. Get in there. Chelsea still coming at Barcelona though. They want more here. Max Alonso clips him. Referee. Yeah, yeah, referee gives it. That's what I thought. This could be a little bit naughty, this. And Kunku dinks it in. Barisha with a flick on Caicedo, I think he's off anyway. Yeah, he is offside, but Chelsea are letting Barcelona know here. They're not messing around to stay again as it from the offside. Oh, what is Gabriel doing? Garcia nicks it round him, referee, hang on. Hey, referee, come on, no. Garcia's nicked it round him to get him one on one. He's completely tripped him up. I can't believe he's not given anything. Garcia sticking on Gabriel now, and Kunku will play it over. Gabriel's not ready for it. They'll start battling. And he does win it, to be fair. Pretty good, that, from Gabriel. It's relentless from Chelsea here, though. The door just want one over the top. And Cuckoo volleys to Stig and parries out for a corner. It's nice skill from Mudrick, though. And Kunku to Garcia. Back in. Chelsea's still going for it. And Aho can only take him down. The referee will give a free kick. And for his troubles, he will actually give him a red card. He has sent a Ramo off for that foul. And Kunku now to take to completely kill it off. As he goes to strike, it will hit the wall and bounce out for a corner. Chelsea do have men up for this though, they are looking for that second, there's not long left. And it's not a bad ball as Garcia beats his man to Stig and can't stop it. 2-0 Chelsea, the beat of Barcelona, Garcia gets his goal and it's all around a great day for Chelsea. Beating Gabriel to the ball, he's had his number today, what a performance Levi Garcia. And Chelsea do beat Barcelona to top the group, absolutely sensational performance. And I tell you what, whoever qualifies into Champions League knockouts, they will not be wanting to play this Chelsea team. Got to bring those emotions down though now, calm down a little bit as we're going back to the Premier League and we are going to St Mary Stadium. Liverpool have to play Man United as well so it's a massive fixture for them. Maybe we can overtake them today. I can't change anyone again. I know it's boring and I know you want to see the likes of Mudrick and Gold play a lot more and Jackson but I'm sorry lads. I've got a team here that's winning football matches. I've got to keep them all on pitch. Southampton starting off pretty aggressive. Plays the ball in. Fafana does block. Gives it straight back to him though. Fafana blocks again. Chelsea clear their lines. Marueke now wants the give and go, but Garcia can't play it as Nicholas Otamendi, I think that is, absolutely smashes him. And he will be picking up a yellow card, and deservedly so as well. Southampton are looking pretty good though, here. It will creep back to Aribo. Into Che Adams, and it's a wonderful save. It is offside anyway, but still, what an incredible reflex save that is. Southampton are really coming at Chelsea though. Great ball in and shoots, but an incredible save to match it again. This goalkeeper, man, insane. Chelsea will give it to Sterling, though. Now, he will try and make a counter of this. He's using his pace now. Does try to get past his man. It will be Sterling going alone here. Goes to cut in now. It's Sterling. He will shoot straight down the middle. Keeper tips it over for the corner, though. It's Raheem Sterling. Plays a nice one too with Nkunku. Sterling in space now. Will drill it across. Garcia throws himself at it, but can't get out of it. Enzo now, good ball in Sterling, goes to shoot, and the Southampton players are blocking everything. Garcia will play out to Sterling, Chelsea will be going again here. We'll go towards that touchline, pull it back, keeper gets a stop to it. Southampton go forward, and Reese James absolutely smashes him. Chelsea getting aggressive now, they need a goal, and they need it quick. Levi Garcia, 
Out against Sterling. It's a good ball. Chelsea will go once more. Sterling does his man. Does the second. Is Sterling. No. Saved by the Southampton keeper. And it is now time. I need to make my subs. Jackson, Gold, Mudrick, Cucurella all come on for the last five minutes. And we do have a corner straight away. As it's into goal! Who oh, does get a goal? His first touch of the game. It's a header. It's top left corner. Chelsea go ballistic. Morris has joined in as well. Come on. What a massive goal for the young man. David Gold will get Chelsea over the line though. The 17 year old steals the victory. Steals the point. And gets Chelsea over the line. Liverpool did beat Man United though. Of course they did. So we will not take first place just yet. But we now host Fulham. London derby and I say it's another tough game every game in the Premier League is a tough game I've made a lot of changes for this game though Madueke, Caicedo and Enzo Fernandez are the only three players that are left standing from the main team but I wanted to give a few of these lads a chance and we've got an unbelievable second team so they should be beating Fulham regardless Levi Colwell will play it to Mudrick nice little take plays it to Jackson Jackson will look at his options goes out wide to Madueke first time into gold over the top into Mudrick and Mikhailo Mudrig can't finish, but it's a great bit of football from Chelsea. Loose touch from the Fulham player, and Caicedo will not let him get away with that one. Gets absolutely crippled. It's gold on the ball now, will dribble with it. Uses a nice bit of skill, gets absolutely flattened. And this game is looking pretty nasty, and oh no, David Gold still on the floor. He's hurt here, boys. The referee has stopped the game. David Gold is done. What has happened? Please don't be too serious. He does get absolutely nailed, though. Not looking good, this at all. Well, it was supposed to be on Kunku's day off, but he's going to have to come on for me. I have summoned him against Fulham. Mudrick to Jackson. Nice over the top, it's a 1-2, Mikhailo Mudrik causing problems here, he will cut back, throws his man off, nice bit of skill, Mikhailo Mudrik, Nicholas Jackson scores it, brilliant from Mikhailo Mudrik, the two linking up and they send Chelsea 1-0 up in this derby, the Chelsea lads do see a victory once again, get another three points and surely Liverpool have got to be dropping points sometime soon, oh my god. God, oh my God, seven months, lads. David Gold has done his ACL, he's out for seven months. Oh, no way, you can't do that to it, kid. He's 17, for Christ's sakes. I'm absolutely devastated, boys, completely devastated. He was playing so well as well. He were actually breaking into first team. Oh, I'm gutted. I am so gutted about that. 